As Prince Harry celebrated his milestone 40th birthday on September 15, royal watchers were caught off guard when the royal family and the Prince and Princess of Wales took to social media to post public birthday messages for him. The gesture, which followed years of strained relations, sparked intense speculations about whether this marked a potential thaw in the icy feud between the Wales and the Sussex. However, insiders are warning that despite appearances, no real reconciliation is on the horizon. The royal birthday wishes came as a surprise to many, considering that last year, Prince Harry did not receive public well wishes from the royal family at all. The shift led some observers to hope that perhaps the family rift, which was dominated headlines for years, might finally be healing. But, according to royal experts, V gesture is far from an olive branch. Royal correspondent Cameron Walker poured cold water on the idea of any meaningful breakthrough between the brothers. He said, Prince Harry is still a member of the royal family. Even though he's not a working member of the royal family, it's a milestone birthday, which is why they posted it. In terms of the narrative that it's a bit of an olive branch, from Prince William and Catherine to Prince Harry, or indeed from the King to Prince Harry, I'm more cautious on that. The reason being that it's just custom that they would pose for a milestone birthday. The same thing happened with Meghan in 2021. The rift between Prince Harry and Prince William, once considered inseparable, has deepened over since Harry and Meghan's explosive departure from royal life in 2020. Tensions only escalated with the release of Harry's memoir, Spar, which aired private grievances and painted an unflattering picture of his relationship with William. Since then, the brothers have had little meaningful communication with the Wales and Sussex seemingly entrenched in their opposing positions. Royal watchers have long hoped for a resolution with some speculating that major events such as milestone birthdays could serve as an opportunity for reconciliation. However, this latest public interaction, while significant in its acknowledgement of Harry's special day, has left many disappointed. The formality of the message was seen by some as cold, lacking any personal warmth that might hint at a genuine desire to rebuild their fractured bond. According to those close to the palace, Catherine and William's birthday post for Harry was in line with protocol rather than overture for peace. It's the right thing to do. One insider said, adding that ignoring Harry's 40th birthday would have raised even more eyebrows, potentially fanning the flames of the controversy. But, no mistake, this is not an olive branch. Cameron added, We know that William and Catherine chose to put their initials at the end of the message when it was written by themselves. The fact that they chose not to do that in a pose is that a departure from the message. Their team wished Harry a happy birthday and it's clear they were consulted on that. But not having initials on the message takes away the personal element of it. Cameron doubts whether William, or the king, contacted Harry personally on his birthday to talk. Both sides are very tight-lipped, but this may be unlikely because the seemingly irreparable rift has been going for on so long. Critics of the royal family's approach argue that the birthday messages could have been an opportunity to extend a personal message or signal a desire to move forward. Instead, the posts were formal, leaving many questioning whether the deep wounds between the two sides can ever truly heal. The continued estrangement is particularly painful given the history between William and Harry, who were once inseparable. The brothers shared a close bond through their childhood, especially after the death of their mother, Princess Diana. However, in recent years, they have grown increasingly distant with Harry's decision to step back from royal duties and the subsequent fallout creating a chasm between them. Some royal insiders believe that, for now, the two families are operating in different worlds. Prince William and Princess Catherine have focused on growing responsibilities within the monarchy, especially as King Charles navigates the early years of his reign.